Hello everybody. I'm here with a sewing machine and um, I always have a hard time saying that word so I'm not even going to try because it's going to sound stupid. So I call it a Viking. So we're going to call this guy the Viking. And it's called an um, Eden Rose 250C. Okay. Um, uh, they wanted a deep cleaning so I spent two hours on getting out all kinds of uh, thread. Now, the tape was on the back of the machine. I don't even know what that was for. So, I went ahead and took that off because, you know, I don't like the scum on machines. Um, when I get a sewing machine, I completely give it a good cleaning and everything and disinfect the whole machine and everything. But I got in there and I found thread. I found pieces of fabric shoved way down inside. Found, look at that. I actually found this uh, needle point. I don't know where she had that, but I did locate it. And it's in there, so I bet you money that was what the problem was. Or it could have been just thread wrapped around the bottom section of it. I don't know. It just took me a while to get it all out. But I got it all out. It looks more like crystal clear in there now. And uh, I've been trying to learn how to run this machine. I've been going crazy. I was like, oh, wow, this is going to blow my mind. I've never had one quite like this before. <laughs> and I always thought brother was, brothers come sometimes pretty hard, but... Finding out that, nope, I found one that's a little bit harder than before. She did give me the user guide manual, which I'm thankful that she gave me because I would not know how to run this machine. But it, she did. She showed me. She gave me that. It took me about 15 minutes to learn the basics about the sewing machine. Um, this is like the dust cover to keep it from getting too dusty inside. But I want to show you guys. Um, it has all kinds of really cool thread, you know, you can do all kinds of, oh, patterns of all sorts. Kind of like reminds me of my brother in the other room. It does like basically the same things. I don't think the only thing mine doesn't do is bicycles, cars, and it looks like a trailer. Um, mine does all the other things, but it doesn't do this one. <laughs> so I thought, well, I guess everybody has a little bit different one. Um, I didn't read the book on how to do the rewinder, so I can't really tell you how to thread that. But I'm going to tell you how I threaded it, okay? You need to have the thread. It comes off like the back side or this way. That's what it says to come this way, and then the thread comes this way, because the whole thing is going to keep going this way. And I know you had to come up here and hook it around this little thing, back down, around this, come back up here. It has like little arrows and things. Um, it automatically, when you start the machine up, it automatically puts the foot up. So I haven't even started the machine. I mean, I, yeah, I had the machine running, but I I um, decided that, you know, I'm going to show you guys. When you turn it on, the foot automatically comes up so that you can thread it. But I'm, I'm just going to show you that how to do this. So whenever your foot is up, then you then this will accept the chambers. So then it comes around here and comes up here. And then you can see the uptake. Can you guys see the uptake in there? See it? A little shiny thing? That's the uptake. Go around that. Come back down. And you go into the uh, needle. Right here is a little hook. I don't know if you guys can see the little hook. And into the needle. Okay? And uh, this one does not have a lever in the back to lift your foot. It actually is all run by this computer. It's really different. I have the foot hooked up. Um, if you're going to run embroidery, you don't have to put the foot on. I know you can run it by using all these other things that I don't know nothing about. So don't even ask me. I know the basics and that's all I learned because I don't keep these machines long enough to be able to play with them. So um, they will definitely go back to the, the uh, person that owns them. And I will literally learn the basics. And that's all I did. I learned the basics on how to run it. And that makes a help, helpful thing. And you come over here to turn it on on the side right here. I'll get it turned on. The light comes on. She you'll see it. It'll do this weird thing. That's what it does. Um, everybody's machine does it differently. But this one's like more automatic than I can ever imagine. Um, the only thing I just don't really care for is you can select the type of material you're using. Um, she had it on F. Boy, I tell you, that confused me. I didn't know how, I, I was like, why is it pulling so hard? And realizing that you choose your own fabric to put in. I think I'd like the old-fashioned way where the machine can, knows how to adjust it. But 
you know, like my brother, even the justice detention, detention it's like it just is everything. Where this one here, you're doing it manually in a way, but it's through a computer that the computer sets up with. Anyway, so now see the foot is up, and when you thread it, that will make the chambers in here open for this, okay? Anyway, so that's how, and, and yet yeah, it has a threader, but I can't stand these threaders. There was a sewing machine here a while back, I don't remember what it was called, that had a really, really cool looking threader, and I thought, I'm going to try that. So I read the book on how to do it, and it was really easy, because all you had to do is kind of like do this like figure eight thing on it with the thread, and then you push it down, and it went right into the needle. I was like, now that's a threader. <laughs> it did it exactly the way I think it should be done. But I, so I do it the old fashioned way. There's a white backing here. And if you look at it carefully, you can see the eye of the needle and it's easy to get that in there. So that's why that's why that, that's why that's white. And that's why you can see it. Anyway, let's go on. I'm going to go ahead and put that foot down. But oh, it went down. And when you want it up, you have to hit this up button. Um, I prefer, you know, you can, you have, you can have a preferral, you can have a, the needle always going up every time you quit, or you can have the needle always staying down. I prefer it to go up. I kind of like the brother sewing machine. I like it when it's up so I can move my project where I want it to go. And, uh, this one has a speed control. It's a button. I'm not going to mess with that because I don't really mess with it. It has a fix. I don't know what that does. And it has a stop. So I think that has to do with um the embroidery part of it where you don't have the pedal hooked up but that's all i think i think now i don't know i didn't read that part of the book i just read on how to run a basic straight stitch i try to do a zigzag to see if it will sew the zigzag sometimes i do that but the zigzag is not coming out right at the bottom so unless there's something i'm not sure that i'm not doing correctly on this screen uh, i don't know so i just wanted to learn how to do the straight stitch and that's all i learned okay so we learned how to thread it and it had all these really cool things it can do and it has more controls here but all the controls are up and down minus and positive on how to adjust it. See I like my big giant screen that's like literally right here all the way down to about here and it's all push button touching screen. I like it better than have to do this. This is too much for me. Um, overall it's a good machine. I mean if I'd learned more about it, I'd probably get it running really good, but, um, but I got it pretty much cleaned out. I mean, it looks pretty shiny inside. There's no dust, no nothing. I couldn't find any more anyway, and no needles, no anything else. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to run this. Okay. All right. So we're going to start going forward. I'm going to give a couple stitches forward. There we go. And then you hit this button to go in reverse. See the light comes on. Then you hit your pedal again and it'll go in reverse like that and then you push it down like that and it'll go forward again and it's stitching great yeah i've been stitching quite a while here i've been playing with it i'm using a two-ply cotton starchy type of material okay and then you want the foot this foot up so you come up here to the foot up I'm going to try to push it so we can do this together. Push it so you can see it go up. The foot's up. That way you can take your material and turn it around. You can see it's stitching properly. It does a lot of stitches. And it's stitching great back here. Now, I didn't adjust anything. It's wet the way it's set up on that screen. Um, I just wanted to do some kind of stitching on it to show that it does work so when these people see their video because this machine is going back to them on monday um they can see that their machine is finished and they can come get it but i need to get them scheduled so they can come and get this you know sewing machine um yeah when you travel you want the needle to go down for the so the hub doesn't get broken so we're going to head and put that needle down now it's locked in it's down it's you know it's starting to get dusty again because i've been playing around and um, I'm not really playing around, but you know what I mean? I've been sewing with it and everything. I'll probably chop some of this up and just kind of like do this or something because she doesn't need all that. I was just, you know, showing her it sews a lot. So as I wanted to make sure, I think this is the lady that told me that she needs, um, she has, uh, it wasn't sewing only like every seven stitches and it would break the need, break the thread off. 
and uh, I think she said she broke the needle once, and I think, well, that's the, the point I found. Um, trying to think of anything else. I think I've gone over everything I know about, and I'll just turn this little guy off. All right, there you go, and uh, and I'll take my thread back out because she didn't give me any thread. I just used mine, and I'll probably just cut this off. And that's all. I just like to like a little bit there, and I'll cut it off. You know, not keeping it all in there and all that. And then I'll put my business cards and everything with it. Put her a sticker here so she knows it's been cleaned and what date I had cleaned it. And uh, but then she can pick it up on Monday morning. I open from ten until. I think I'm open till 10 till 6, I think, on Mondays. So she can uh, come and, well, I'll have to schedule it. So I don't have so many people picking up that day. I have to schedule everybody so nobody bumps into anybody else. And I had that one time happen because nobody would give me the time. And they all arrived at the same time. And I had, I, I'm like, and which one are you? <laughs> what, what machine did you have? And because it'd be easier than do it by name, I do it by the name of the machine. It's like when people come up to me all the time, hi, Jacqueline, how you doing? And they'd say to me, and I'd just look at them like, and who are you? And it's, you worked on my sewing machine. What was your sewing machine? And they tell me, and I'm like, oh, yes, I remember your sewing machine. I have a problem. It's like people when you go to like elementary school, you know the child, but don't know the parent, you know? And, uh, and or don't know the teacher, you just, it's kind of like that, you know, I have that mentality where I just remember the sewing machine, but not remember the people. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that, but um, I like to learn as much as I can about a sewing machine and try to do as much as I can. But I basically spent most of my time about here and here and a little section up here. I can't go in this area, in this area, because this is where the computer's at. I don't have permission to crack the sewing machine because I get permission before I even touch them. Um, like if I go to brother and say, you know, I have to crack a sewing machine. This is my problem. I, and they sit there and they help me. They'll literally send me schematics. They'll do whatever they have to do to help me. And then I print them off. And then sometimes I call a girlfriend over and she comes over and helps me with it. And she's like, wow, you get all this information from them. And I said, yeah, I, I personally think that brother is a lot better. Um, these are really good if you have the money. But the thing is, is a lot of people don't have the money and brothers where I fall back on. Um, but I've worked on, I don't know how many of these Vikings. Um, this is the newest one I've worked on so far. Everything I've ever seen were always the older versions and they're easier to tear apart. They're much easier because you can get the schematics on the old ones, but the brand spanking new ones, they won't let you have any of them. So it's kind of weird that way, but that's okay. Um, but I just want to let you know, if you did get a machine like this, you better sit down with your book and literally go over it with yourself and teach yourself how to use this machine. Because if you're just going to do it cold turkey, I can't do it cold turkey. I had to sit and read. I think I read like, um, four pages and then I got, okay, I think I got it. And I set, I reset this. You can still reset them even if there's a computer attached to them. Um, unless the computer is moving it, you can't reset those ones because it's already set inside the computer. This one you, it does not set with the computer. So this one's a manual one. So that means I can actually set a manual tension. Um, but I reset it and it seems to be doing great because the first piece of material I did, it was just all, man, it was messy. But then I realized you have to change the type of material you're using and that helped a lot. Anyway, I'm going to go. I got to go work on another sewing machine. I hope you guys all have a blessed day. Share this with your friends. And um, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon when I put another one up. Okay. Bye-bye.